Okay. Now, sorry you can't see my head, but I think it's very important that you see my torso, because this is the important part. You know, so from here, an explanation of the torti, or the, the moves cued and the strategies in our kata. Now, how you show done, of course, you start out with your bow, and then you come from here, and the hands come up, and you go down. Okay, now, what this is, in the fighting system, what you're actually doing, is you're going to say sandachi. You've, been, you've engaged in the fight, and your head's been grabbed, let's say, because it's a lower level block, that's what it is. And so you grab my head and you pull my head down to knee strike me coming up, and what happens is, as the defender, I overlap, this is a double palm heel block, and I stop the knee. So as the knee is coming up, I stop the knee to protect my face as my head's coming down. Once the knee comes, is stopped and starts to retrieve, because that's what's going to have to happen for it to use it again, as it starts to retrieve, okay, my hand is here, I come up and I shoot a double spear hand strike to the throat, or the, or the eyes, whichever you can get. And if you've got me tied up and you're pulling my head down, as I come down here to stop the knee, it goes directly right up into the throat. So you get a double spear hand strike to the throat. Again, it's not done from here. You know, this is, this is not the point. And it's, again, go back to that conflicting combination. If you try to do it this way in a fight, it will never work. Okay, it's not supposed to be. This is the cue. Okay, this is the application of the fighting system. Now, bring the feet together, and you come from here, okay? What this is, this is a defensive position and a defensive movement. And so if we're fighting at a intermediate range fighting, where, where you, know, you shuffle in the reverse punch, okay? And I'll explain the distance and the whole concept behind that in a different, because we don't have enough time here. But just understand that this is a cue, okay, bringing the feet together. That's a cue from a lead leg retreat to this position so I can block either out or down. So you'll notice if you can pick a spot on this wall here, and if you punch me straight, either in my face or you kick my body or my groin, you know, you're taking a straight line a linear attack, you'll notice that when I bring my feet together, okay, my body shifts to the side. And then by shifting my body to the side, when I block, it's easier to part. The attack now is going past me here, because I've moved, see? I've now moved away from it. This enhances my block. This enhances my block. And that's what you're doing. If you don't move, you get hit. If, I'm, if someone's hitting you full power, you have to move, unless you're just really big and strong, or you can just simply absorb the impact. Most people can't. And so from here, I'm in my fight, I'm in my seisodashi, because we've attacked, now you attack me, I move away from you, and to the outside, and then block, and then I can slide back in and counterattack without, you know, jumping back and still being within range. So in the Hachi Shodan, we have now, you have the understanding of the fighting system. Then of course you have this, this technique, okay? What this technique is in the system, it is, it is a retreat, but it shields your groin. So again, you're in the, the Seisan Dachi, okay? You launch an attack at my midsection, and I retreat diagonally away, here. My groin is shielded, so I come back, when you attack, I move away from it. And it goes that way. And you can transition away, or you can counterattack from there. The important thing is it's defensive movement and the cover. So you attack, I move away, I can strike you with the lead hand, or I can transition away from you. Or I can stay in this position and then slide back out and counterattack. 
The important part is I've queued you for that portion of our fighting system. So we come from here, 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 feet together. Okay, that's the same retreat we talked about. Bring your feet together. Anytime your feet come together, usually it's a retreat. And then, of course, you slide out and you do the open hand maneuver. From here, once you've stepped over and your feet have come together, you come this way. Okay, we'll do the hand position first. It's not an attack from the side. Okay, it's not. It's not an attack at all from the side. It's a forward attack in the Saison stance. So I'm here in close quarter fighting. In other words, you don't have to move your feet to hit me. And so from here, when we're exchanging blows and I'm blocking and trying to stop from getting hit, if I block down, I come forward. This is why the arm is slightly bent. This is the block. And it comes from the down, out, and that pairs your blow. And because in close, we try to block and strike simultaneously, as close as we possibly can to that, you come from here, and as you block, you shoot forward. That's when you grab the head, and then you hit with the elbow from there. It's all done very in close. Close combat. So I'm blocking from here, here, and that's what I'm doing. Slow, here, here, shoot through, and elbow strike. It's done forward from Saison's stance, not here off to the side, reaching across and trying to grab somebody's head. Not meant to be that way. So we come up from here, feet together, we slide out, and what you're doing here is you're sliding in behind the person, sweeps and throws, and in our fighting system are secondary techniques. You, you either stun them, daze them, slide them behind them, and take them down. And so at this point, I've maybe stepped in behind you this way. So we're, we fought, I've hit you several times, you're over here, I slide in behind you, you know. And then, of course, or should I say maybe in front of you, depending on which way you're facing, it doesn't matter. But let's say I slid in behind you, and rather than give you an open hand technique, it's not an open hand technique with this sweep, it is a hammer strike to the face. So really what you're doing is you've got here, you're sliding behind your opponent, he's facing the same direction you are, and then you hit him in the face or the throat and knock him over your leg. So it's a takedown. That's what that is. You slide over here. Of course, I've explained what that is. This is not a cover. It's a cover. Yeah. We call it a cover, but in the system, it's not a cover. It's a block. And I didn't discuss this with you in the previous in the previous video with the Nahachi because I forgot. <laughs> Honestly, I just forgot. And so what we're going to do now, I told you. We're fighting in the Saison Dachi. And so you throw an attack from an extended range, front kick, side kick, lunge punch, whatever the case may be. You jump across to the hit me. What this is, is twofold. One, now you are, you fade back into the Nahachi Dachi. Okay? Again, look at my torso. Okay, now look what happens when I transition with my right leg, my rear leg, back into an ahachi. Takes me off the line of attack, okay? So, from here, I execute that inward block. From here, and as I do, it comes across just like it was across my body, all right? So from here, slide back strike, and this is the cross body punch. Now, you notice it goes out at a 40 degree angle. It doesn't do like a lot of the Okinawa styles do, come across their body like this. Because you can't punch someone this way. Okay? Now, the, the, the important part of doing the kata, the way I explained to you, the way I demonstrated for you, because if you don't do it that way, it, does have, it has no connection to the fighting system. Because the technique is this. That's the technique. Okay? It just happens to be in the kata. And so, if I... 
if you practice you're doing your kata this way, you're, you're not practicing the physical technique in the system. So this is not the way it will work, it's not the way it should be applied. So again from here, slide back, block, you see it comes across, and then you'll be right here. And that's where the punch goes. That's the crossbody punch.